Good morning. Uh, today we're going to measure a bolt hole pattern uh, using a copy feature. Okay, we're in zone three, and um, the uh, this is uh, not aligned to CAD. It is, I know, um, it's a whole different series. But if you want to create a, you know, anytime you have a rotated measurement, um, you can. In zone three, has a great feature that basically you can ro rotate around a known feature. So um, I thought we'd put that up here. Uh, so we've got this, yeah, I'll just kind of draw it three here. There's the center hole. Then we've got eight, eight holes around the center. Typical eight hole bolt pattern. Um, and so what we're going to do first is we're going to measure that first uh, inside circle. Okay. And uh, if you, you know, what we can do is uh, just going to measure a circle, probably just hit it with a, um, uh, you know, a feature finder, just kind of take a couple arcs, there's one, take a second one, and there's our fourth one, nice, so we've got ourselves some Got a circular pattern, good deal. We'll just go ahead and yeah, we may as well throw some since we're gonna report this, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and tolerance at two five zero. And I'm gonna change this one to upper five thou. Um oh, that's a little bit big on the nominal there. <laughs> two point two five zero. There we go. Alright, so we're good on that and uh, yeah, I like it, and we'll call it center bolt. Good. Okay. All right. So then, uh, now what we'll do is I'm just going to go over to the second one. Just measure one of them. And so measure circle and a finder, and a little quick. You know, if it's inside the field of view, if you hadn't figured it out already, if you uh, just do a quick double. You know, click three around there. And if it had already been, they could just double click on the edge and it would kick out. But uh, let's go ahead and make sure we tolerance this one too. So when we copy it, we don't have to do it twice. All right, so it looks good. I like it. Yeah, go ahead and hit. Yeah, let's call this one Bolt 1. Okay, and then we'll go save. All right, so now if you look at our model window here, we've got that center pattern and that outer pattern. Um, okay, so we've got that center. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, this, this one all the way around here. And so what we do is um, I'm going to go over to bolt one. That's that. That's this one right here, right there. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and copy that step. All right. And so now, anytime we copy in a circle, it's not a, a linear uh, offset. It is a polar offset. That means that instead of x, y coordinates, we've got an r and an a, a radius and an angle. So in this case, uh, we're just going to rotate around this circle. Um, and what, so we want to rotate and we want to copy it. We've got eight holes. We've already measured one, so we're going to copy it seven times. Uh, but first, we should tell it, uh, you know, tell it some different. We've got to do a couple things. What's our reference? Well, we're going to come out of our alignment and we're actually going to reference off of a feature okay and so because i named it center bolt like so basically by telling it that i want to reference off of this feature a polar offset at the center bolt i'm going to want to rotate this thing all the way around here and uh the radius is going to be zero the radial offset because this radius doesn't change each hole is at the same radius Okay, the offset will change though, so I'm going to change a uh, 45. Okay, 45 degrees. Where did I come up with 45? Well, there's eight holes. 360 divided by eight is 45. Uh, there's no Z offset, and I've kept integral check because I want it to go 45, and then I want to rotate another 45, and another 45. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and click create. 
and it created me seven bolt holes. So let's go and see if they actually worked, because they don't always work for me. But you know, where there's one, there's two. Notice they're kind of building. It's kind of nice going around, and we've got, we have we have we have copied that pattern. Okay, so that bolt pattern is you know we're rocking on it. Um, Maybe something you won't use a whole lot, but it's you know it does show this feature of uh, how you can copy off of a feature. Um, this is a you know a, this is a non CAD based non CAD based uh, instructional video. So if you do have any questions, please give me a call. Uh, I'm with Productivity Quality Incorporated in Plymouth, Minnesota, and we do offer online uh, on site training as well as we offer zone three classes all right thank you have a great day